my breath. Every time I'm about to start a show, I do push-ups. It get my adrenaline going, it get my blood going, and I don't be sounding tired and stuff like that, even though I am tired, because these folks, these black folks done had me up since 3 o'clock in the morning. We already talked about that on Instagram. Shout out to my co-host, Jasmine. And Teddy, hey Teddy! Teddy said he gonna officially go into retirement after our first show. It's like, anyway, oh y'all are here heavy. It ain't red enough in the chat. It ain't red enough. I need to see them wine glasses and I need to see them ticket emojis, especially if you got the tickets to our October 20th show in Miami at the Flamingo Bar Theater, okay? For some wine, gossip, and sketch comedy and comedy all on stage. 80 tickets left, and they said I wouldn't sell out. I love when a hater just send their energy to me so I can prove them wrong. I've been knocking on doors like I'm selling vacuum cleaners. You remember they used to sell Eureka vacuum cleaners back in the day? Remember all that? That's me. I'm knocking. Do you got them tickets? Don't play with me. <laughs> I was top sales and everything that I did, whether I was selling at the Waffle House, Shoney's, Ryan's, Golden Corral, Red Lobster, Seasons 52, Domino's Pizza Coupons, I outsold everybody. When there's money involved, I'm selling your mammy. And that's what we're doing here. Hey, y'all. I ain't too loud, and I know I'm loud. I know I'm loud. Full show for y'all. Let me go ahead and get y'all to run down real quick. Two shows. For this show, all right, definitely going to be talking about an update from the uh, FDA, Food Drug Administration, okay? Also going to be talking about Elon Musk. He's been in the news a lot lately, and I think y'all need to know about it, okay? Oprah's back on the uh, roster. She's been out here lying, okay? Uh, in my opinion, lying. I ain't got no money to be fighting Oprah and stuff like that, but uh, it just is it, it's giving lie, okay? Also going to be talking about Travis Scott. They really coming for his money. Really, really coming for his money. Uh, Cassie's uh, husband is coming for Diddy. I don't understand why they still having problems. You won. But we'll talk about it, okay? Anthony Henderson, his wife, ex-wife, Alvina, done hit a lick. Now, you know, now, you know when there's a black woman darker than me and you named Alvina, and she able to hit the lick of the lick of all licks. We have got to show our sister some love, okay? We'll definitely be discussing that later. Uh, Nicki Minaj versus his cocker. Vlad TV, Vladimir. Vladimir, Vladimir, Vladimir. I done told you, you need to mind your business. You need to mind your business. When you go, we'll talk, we'll talk about that, okay? Definitely got Krishan Rock. I know y'all want me to delete her from the algorithm, but I can't. I can't. She's giving me, I think I'm going to be a, a mother from a distance, okay? Like I have a soft spot for Angela White, Black China, and she made her turn around. I think I'm having that for Krishan, okay? But we still going to whoop my ass over here. Definitely going to be talking about Dwayne Wade. Still out here embarrassing his wife. I don't know. I guess you know them Hollywood checks is slow. They got to do something. And Shannon Sharp, that's his last name, right, Sharp? Uh, he, he, they say he pays a nice little penny for them interviews over there. Uh, Jada and uh, uh, Tupac. I don't know why Tupac is still on our lineup. The man been dead, okay? He been trying to rest. They don't want to let the man rest. Uh, also going to be talking about uh, Ernest. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. There's a lot. There's a lot here, okay? And I'm going to try to break it down for you so it makes sense when we roll over into part two of the show on TashaKLive.com, okay? There's a lot of audio to support this stuff here, okay? And we don't put audio out on this platform, okay? We do it on TashaKLive.com because it's uncensored, it's raw, and frankly, viewer discretion is advised, okay? Uh, so at 3 o'clock in the morning, I got contacted from uh, Easy to Blockchains. Is it a blockchain? Block Captain, okay. Uh, I guess PR, all right. Uh, got up to go piss. DMs was blowing up. It was his PR. I verified. Yes. Now, I did something that was a little shady. He, They tried to charge me $10,000 for an interview, a tell-all. And they got that price because that, 
Vladimir gave them that price. So they was trying to ask me, did I have it? And what you think I told them? What you think I told them? Think. Think. I look like I got 10,000 to y'all. Looks can be deceiving, I know. I came from a background where you fake it till you make it. Still faking it till I make it, okay? So I had to get a little creative, and we got a little creative, and we got everything that we need, okay? Everything. So we got videos, audio, statements from PR teams. Everybody just went to talking today. I said, Vladimir, 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 you're going to learn to keep your, bi your nose out of black folk business today, okay? Because this is my business. And I just got it for free. <laughs> also, definitely going to be discussing Nicole Murphy's new boo. Just put the mug shot up real quick. I just want to tease them so they'll stay for the show. And then you'll, you'll, you'll want to hear the audio, okay, on TashaKLive.com, okay? If you want to hear that audio, you're going to have to subscribe. But go ahead. This is Nicole Murphy's new boo. The last one was married. This one here, wives, side chicks, and girlfriends. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. There's a reason why we call it Fuckery Friday, okay? And listen, without further ado, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to. We'll be right back after the break. Y'all better be liking this video because we got a whole lot of wine to sip, okay? Let's get it. Hey, check this out. Kids go home tomorrow. House finna be quiet as a bitch, man. So f Boosie badass is back, man. All go pool party. All go piss pool party. And I mean it, man. This third. We finna turn up, man. F all that, man. I gotta enjoy my motherfucking life, man. All go piss pool party. I'm about to be all up in the go piss party. now let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure lupus diabetes and certain cancers check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box now back to the wine Okay? 
Once they all gone, y'all ain't got to worry about me asking no more until we move to the next city, okay? So listen, y'all better get them tickets. The link is below in the description box. This is our wine, gossip, and comedy show, sketch comedy, uh, all the above. It's really wine on weekend, but they already bought all the tickets to the day party, so them gone, okay? So just be on lookout for the next city whenever we announce that, okay? So you'll know that there's a show and then there's a day party, okay? And the day party lit. It's, it's, woo! They say they're gonna start making me do club appearances here soon. Like Ari and uh, uh Ari and Jada. I'm gonna get me a fake ass just for the event, okay? I'm gonna come through there, bottle service, all the above, okay? I'm gonna be doing club hostings. <laughs> Don't forget, get your tickets, okay? While they last, while supplies last, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. I love y'all. Y'all in here deep too. Y'all, we got an announcement to make. Now, I know you listen. I know most of y'all probably eating French fries right now and craving French fries, but I did want to update y'all on something because this is very, very true. You know, I try to get into this health and wellness as much as I can. Okay? And so uh, there's new reports. You know, they got a new report every day because there's federal funding to scientists to study this stuff that we shouldn't be eating anyway. Everybody knows we shouldn't be eating French fries. You know what I'm saying? But we just can't help it. You know? Um, <laughs> If you eat them baked, if you slice them, make French fries yourself and eat them baked, they're much more healthier than fried, okay? Because they said the trans fat causes some type of cancer and all that stuff, allegedly. <laughs> I don't know, okay? So let me go ahead and pull up this article right here. And so basically, uh, oh, you actually got the video, don't you? Uh, let me let them tell you. How about that? That way I ain't got to worry about new little galleries here. Go ahead, Jazz. The research has found more evidence of a link between eating large amounts of highly processed foods and depression. So the study looked at diets and mental health of more than 30,000 women between the ages of 42 and 62. Those who had nine servings a day of things like chips or soft drinks, ready to eat meals, they were 50% more likely to develop depression than those who just ate a few servings. So the negative effects even greater in those who consumed a lot of artificial sweeteners. Okay, you heard that? You don't need me to play it again, do you? You sure? All right, we're going to keep going. All right, so this is very true. You know how I know? Because in my early 20s, all I could do was write bad checks to get fast food because I was broke. You know what I'm saying? It was either Burger King. Yeah, it was mainly Burger King because Burger King took a little while to process. But, every, every, you know, when I wrote too many bad checks, they decided to call the, the folks on me. So when you do run my background report, bad checks do come up, okay? But I was on probation for that. It was no more than $20 checks, $10 checks here and there. You know what I'm saying? Nothing serious, okay? Petty theft. Now, um, this is very true, because when I had a diet of all fast food, I was depressed. Now, I know it was probably lack of nutrients and things like that, but I think it had something to do with something much bigger, bigger than that. Much, much more, something a little bit more simpler, okay? Because, you know... After, when you eat bad like this, especially when we can't afford to eat nothing else, you know, because the dollar menu is so, is available everywhere, you know, when you look at a salad versus, you know, french fries for a dollar or a burger for a dollar and a salad nine dollars, you know what I'm saying, even though I don't understand why lettuce is more expensive, you could just go pick it out the ground, that to me is mind-boggling. They spend way more time making this in a lab. Make it make sense to me, I don't know. However, um, yeah, you, you, you know, nutrients, things that are supposed to be feeding your brain cells and stuff like that. You're probably sleepy. If you ever had cloudy, like, thinking and stuff like that. All of this comes from a bad diet and stuff. And also, uh, when you broke, that causes depression. So, if, if they really want to be technical and say this here, play it one more time, Jasmine. Some new research has found more evidence of a link between eating large amounts of highly processed foods and depression. Pause. So the study looked at Because when you broke, what is there to be happy about? So yeah, most people that do eat highly processed food is probably because that's all that's within their budget and they really don't want to eat it. They would rather have their mama cooking or their grandmama cooking and stuff or go eat at a red lobster or something like that. But when all you eat in is french fries and hamburgers and chicken nuggets and, and, and they made out of meat glue, yeah, I would be depressed too, absolutely, okay? And so I don't think it took millions of dollars of research to figure that out. All they had to do was go to the hood or go to low-income housing and ask. Moving on. I get on my nerves playing with my, my intelligence here. Split, speaking of playing, playing with intelligence, okay? Uh-huh, yeah, 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 listen up. So Elon Musk, okay, uh, whose son we cannot find a 
Is it X A E? His his the one he just had a baby with. I forgot her name. She had a third baby with him, but she yelled at him on his platform Twitter. We talked about all this during our live show, and she said, "I still want to see my first baby." And don't nobody know where he at. He probably in Mars somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't know. However, um, since ain't nobody reading these days, I guess I'm gonna read for us because I, you know, this stuff comes across my desk all the time. And Elon Musk got a brain chip. He got the he got that what they call the mark of the beast or something like that. So um, Elon Musk brain computer interface company Neuralink has begun recruiting people for its first human trial. So they have cleared him to put chips, computer chips, in human brains. All right, and so this is an update, and this is from Daily Loud, okay, very credible source. Now, Elon Musk's brain-computer interface, BCI startup Neuralink, has begun recruiting people for its first-ever human trial. The company's goal is to connect human brains to computers, as if we already ain't connected to computers. We look at phones and computers all day, they determine what we do, how long we stay on, okay? Anything we ask for, it shows up. Now they want to put it in the brain so they can control, they can put the algorithm in our brain and tell us what to buy, who to buy, how to thank it, and when it's time to die. Yeah, okay? Now a robot, not a person, hold on for a second, the company's goal is to connect human uh, uh, brains to computers, and it wants to test its technology on people with p paralysis. So basically, if you can't walk, basically it's going to try to heal you walking again, which will ultimately be the, the direction they're going to go until we start having babies and there's no longer social security numbers. It's Everything's on the chip. Right. OK. And so a robot will help implant a BCI that will let them control a computer cursor or type using thoughts alone. But rival companies have already started implanting BCI devices in humans already. So he late. <clears throat> Neurally one U.S. Food and Drug Administration by the FDA approval for its first ever human clinical trial in May. We in September now, almost October. This has been going on, okay? A critical milestone after earlier thoughts to gain approval. The FDA approval represented an important first step that will one day allow our technology to help many people, Neuralink said at the same time. The company has sought approval to implant its devices in 10 people. Former and current employees told news agency Reuters, the number finally agreed upon is not known, so we don't even know who's going to be walking around with a chip in their head or not. Who's going to volunteer? I wonder how much they're paying. Yeah, they're going to program who rich, who not rich. <laughs> they're going to program laborers versus entrepreneurs. <laughs> Everything is going to be assimilated to fit a growing economy. And if they need you to turn into soldiers, they can do it too. They can have you download it in your brain and instantly you're a soldier, you know how to shoot a weapon. Or they can delete you. Y'all better. But y'all say y'all don't like gossip. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all say I'm in too many people's business. Okay. Maybe next time I'll just mind my business. How about that? Should I mind my business, Jasper? I should mind my business. Yeah, they want me to mind my business. I talk too much. I talk too much. Okay. I'm just saying, what's why I got some comedy? All right. Up next, Oprah. Now, did she lie? Hell yeah. Now, here's the thing. Now, I get it. These celebrities want us to think that all of a sudden, like, all these celebrities are just coincidentally getting divorced. It has everything to do with the seasons, okay? You're going to notice that more people get married around the spring and the summer. And then when the fall comes, everything falls apart. Okay? So this is, this is spiritual. So that's why everybody's falling apart and new things will hibernate and then grow, all right? And so we look at that Oprah and all her weight fell off during fall. Mm -hmm. Now, last time we saw Oprah in Maui, she was big. Do you have a picture? Bring up the, the pictures over the years, okay? So this is Oprah over the years. I don't think she was ever supposed to be little because her head always remained big. Okay? When you got somebody with a bobble head and big hair 
and they got a little body. That shit don't look right. You know what I'm saying? And I know she always wanted to be a small girl, but, um, you know, God had told her no a few times. A few times. Just embrace who you are. You have done and came this far. Why are you trying to be skinny? You already got a man. He been there your whole life. Who are you looking for? What is you trying to look for? What is you trying to do? But she said she's always struggled, you know, with maintaining her weight and, and being skinny. Now, like I said, the videos just came out in Maui. I wish we had a video, but we don't. But y'all, if y'all remember the video she made with The Rock, she was real thick in that video. Remember Jasmine? And then all of a sudden, she's out here promoting a new book, and this is what she looked like. Now, she claimed, I wish I had my little shades. I really do. She claimed she ain't used no, uh, uh, what you call them shots? Them weight loss shots? We go V? Uh, 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 what's the one that start with an O? Ozampic. She said Ozampic had nothing to do with this, so we go V. Now, I'm trying to figure out how she lose weight that fast from launching a $10 million GoFundMe to all of a sudden it's just gone. Overnight. Now, I pray ain't nothing really wrong with her. You know, knock on wood, we won't offer the living to her haunts, okay? As long as she got money to give away and cars to give away and stuff, we want her around here, okay? I can't wait for the day when she tell me, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Because you know she's going to leave the money to somebody because she ain't got no children. So you better hope that you be on your baps when you see her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, um, she claims, now let me get her quote, Okay. Now, she opens up about struggling with obesity, even though I never thought Oprah was obese. I think she was a thick woman, but obese, I think that's a stretch, okay? And feeling like weight loss drugs were the easy way out. So she out here declining the weight loss drugs, and I think it's got a lot to do with her own and Weight Watchers. Even though the entire time she's on Weight Watchers, she ain't never lost no damn weight, okay? Now, um, according to uh, Media Powerhouse, okay, Media Powerhouse Oprah Win Winfrey seemingly... Uh, is Team Natural Weight Loss? How all of a sudden? I don't know. Okay? Recently, Oprah sat down for a conversation about obesity during her panel, Oprah's Daily to Life, You Want Class, The State of Weight. That's a lot. Okay? Amid the discussion, which features some of today's top medical experts, she opened up about her own journey to a healthy living and how she views fat-reducing drugs such as Ozempic, Wegovy, Manjuvi, among others, as a cheap method. Now, as much as she struggled with weight loss, this is what makes me find it hard to believe that she didn't cheat. Okay? Now, also known as semi-glutide, Ozempic is an FDA-approved medication that is used to treat adults with type 2 diabetes. One of the upsizes for most of its users that is not only low as blood sugar levels, but serves as a slim-down A and has uh, uh, been recently uh, noted to paralyze stomach. So, which means your stomach won't digest food. It just, the food just sit there and rot. And when you got real bad gas and you burping all the time upwards and it just burn your esophagus. That's from, that's what they say is happening with these weight loss drugs. Okay. Now Oprah Winfrey is an investor and board member of her fitness company, Weight Watchers. And she told the audience and basically said that Weight Watchers did this, although she's been owning Weight Watchers for years and, and her weight hasn't, nobody's been watching it. And she grows her own food. So that should say a lot. Mm -hmm. Salads, stuff we can't afford. Okay, but if she like it, we love it, girl. If you're going to say it ain't Ozempic, okay, go ahead. I know she probably waiting on her check to say that it is. Because Oprah gets paid to say it's Ozempic. And so she's basically trying to say, if you don't want me to say Weight Watchers no more, I'm going to need this money for Maui. <laughs> Moving on. Travis Scott. I know we're moving fast because we got a lot. We got a lot. Um, Travis, you know, he's been in court, right? Um, he got billions of dollars worth of lawsuits filed against him ever since his Astro World theme. And I just, I just can't imagine. I, I just don't know, imagine what he's going through. That white girl done left him. You know what I'm saying? Now she dating a white boy. All of a sudden, she don't want to testify. She don't want to be a witness. You know? Her kids no longer identify as black. They white. Hmm. Mm -mm. See what happens when you're going through? But then you want a sister. Now he hanging with girls that look like sexy red. That man ain't never hanging with no woman that look like no sexy red. And all of a sudden, you back in the black community. Travis! I don't believe it. 
Now, um, he been in court. It's a lot of money. He gotta he gotta defend. I think he just should settle. But he wanna he wanna rack up them legal fees and litigation fees, and he still got to pay them people because he gonna lose because it's it's a it's I mean it's a touchy situation when you're dealing with uh you know lives and deaths and kids that have died and protocols. It's a lot of people wrapped up in that, but he's ultimately going to take the fall. That's why he's having a hard time right now getting back into the groove of things because them legal fees is kicking his ass and he has to work because them legal fees is kicking his ass. But I found it funny that, um, you know, they're in a discovery process and, of course, the other side uh, wants, the people that are suing him, they want his phone records. And all of a sudden, he pulled out, I ain't got it. He told them that his phone is at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. So any information that they're trying to retrieve to prove that he didn't give a damn allegedly about the people that died down there at that Astro World Devil Worshipping Festival. Mm-hmm. Um, he said that he doesn't have any phone records to back it up whatsoever, and it's gone. It can't be retrieved like the people that went to his concert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gone with them. That's what Travis said. I didn't say that. That's what he said, okay? And y'all going to have to get this money elsewhere. So, And I say he probably learned from the best. I mean, Chris Jenner, you've been around her all them years. You don't know how to lose no discovery. And <laughs> you done been around Chris Jenner. If you ain't learned nothing, everybody on social media like, well, where the phone at? You supposed to go get... He says, go. He got a whole different number. He don't even have that phone number. I was like, well, what was in the phone, Travis, that you didn't give a shit and you weren't paying for nothing? Because they want to look for that ounce of you don't give a damn, and they're going to use that against a jury, okay, or use that against you to break you. And I just, I can't imagine how much stress this man is going through. Pray for Travis. Please pray for Travis. Pray for him. He's been looking stressed uh, real hard these days, okay? Real hard. All right. Y'all better be liking this video, sharing this video, okay? And stay tuned, okay? Because we got that Remy Ma and Papoose wine and easy on the blockchain. He is on the blockchain. He's looking for some money. He's looking for a cut up, okay? It ain't the block captain. It's the blockchain. Yeah. He's trying to get in line to get his money, his residuals, okay? All right. All that coming up and Nicole Murphy's boo. And remember, we got the audio recordings, recordings that are going to go exclusively on TashaKayLive.com because we got a whole other show uh, lined up over there. I hope you're enjoying the show thus far, okay? Hope you got your tickets, too. It's our October 20th show uh, here in Miami, okay? Wine, Gossip, and Sketch Comedy. Don't forget to get those tickets, okay? Got like 80 left, almost sold out. Hurry up and get them. Flights are cheap right now, okay? All right. Up next. <sighs> now, you would think. How long have they been married now? Like four years? It's been a minute, okay? I mean, Alex fine. I mean, he's uh, for a white boy. Yeah, you know, he ain't too bad on the eyes, you know? Looks like one of them robots that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Elon Musk is is working on, you know? He looked just like one of them. Um, you know, swept the, you know, the damsel in distress, you know, out of Diddy's house. You know, she got tired of her hair being pulled out, got tired of being beat allegedly, all types of stuff, cheated on uh, being resistant to, you know, BV, antibiotics, and all types of stuff, right? So, you know, those are young Miami's problems now. <laughs> but anyway, um, so Diddy did an interview, okay? And I think he did an interview with The Breakfast Club. He's really been out here trying to change his brand. He needs money. Money has been getting kind of low for him, especially since the rock is not selling like he used to. And daily on took a major hit. Those were his money makers. The publishing that he got from all those artists, he gave that back because it was dried up. So Diddy is out here trying to reestablish his name, his brand and trying to sign more artists so he can milk them until they did. Okay. And so, um, that's what's going on. And so during a recent interview, um, I guess Alex Fine, uh, being that he went in this man's house and took his property because she was Diddy's property, you know. Um, thought it would be cute to throw shade at Diddy during an interview. You got that screenshot? Hold on for a second. Let me pull it up real quick. I'm just trying to figure out what he doing over there in the comments trying to uh, uh, check Diddy about a woman that you already got, that you married to. You got two children with. You gave her everything. Uh, that she asked for and definitely wasn't going to get out of Diddy. Uh, so I just don't understand why you over there sizing this man up. Now, when he hit back and he hit your pockets, 
I don't want to hear nothing, okay? Nothing at all. And I'm surprised the LGBTQ ain't, ain't, ain't help out. So Cassie's husband, Alex Fine, refers to Diddy as old and fruity under a shade room post, okay? And so Diddy details his decision to reassign publishing rights to the bad boy artists and writers. And Alex Fine was in the comments and says, he's so old and fruity. With the rainbow sign. He's so old and fruity. Now, why he coming for Diddy? And you got, you know what I think it is? I think he knows deep down inside that Cassie moved on a little too fast. Okay? And he probably says, like, why do I have to do all this extra shit? When Diddy allegedly beat you, beat alleged babies out of you, you know what I'm saying, pulled your hair out, lied to you, cheated on you, you know? And he gets all this public recognition, still got photos. I think, like, he's sizing his dick up to Diddy. That's got to be what it is, because I just don't understand why you coming out the blue calling the man old and fruity when you got the woman. I think I don't think everything is as, as it seems at the house. I think maybe Cassie has been trying to, you know, say that maybe I, she didn't quite heal from trauma, you know, and that's the reason why she was in a relationship with somebody like Diddy because it was probably a trauma bond because if you're going to allegedly let somebody beat you and beat on you and cheat on you for years and make you have alleged abortion after abortion after abortion, that's got to be some, some mental trauma. And I know that he's been having to break through a lot of that trauma, and he probably feels some resentment towards Diddy because he's like, I got to fix all of this to prove to her that I really love her because you, you fucked it up. And I think Cassie has her moments where she want to stay and then she want to go. And, in the, and, and having two kids in the mix, I think she really does love him, but I don't think she gave herself time enough to heal from this before she allowed this man to save her. And I really believe, and I'm going to say this right here, and I'm going to move on, you know what I'm saying? When Diddy controlled everything, all the money, all the finances, all the everything, I don't think he returned her publishing. Um, and I think she kind of had to move in with Alex Fine because she ain't had nowhere else to go. And I feel he knows that. And if she had somewhere else to go, um, I don't think that they would be married today. So I feel that Alex Fine feels that he has some leftovers. And why does this man get all you and he allegedly gay? He played for both teams. That's why he got on red and white. All he needs is orange, green. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Not my problems. Moving on, and I hope Alex Five moves on too. She hit a leg. Alvina, you know sisters is moving up. Let me say this: you know sisters is moving up. When you got your natural hair, you got your natural body, and you built this man naturally. And you walk into a judge, and you walk into a courtroom with no makeup on in front of a judge. As black as you is, as bold as you is, as masculine as you is, and you say I built him. He only paid the light bill when we got together. And you gonna give me what's mine? You gonna give me my money? And I'd be damned if she ain't get it. Twenty thousand dollars a month in spousal support for the rest of her mother. With a name like Alvina. You know she from Mississippi somewhere down there, Alabama. Alvina? He probably didn't think she was going to get that kind of money. My name's Anthony. I, I can put my name on the application. They'll think I'm white, but Alvina, they're going to know she's black. I said, Anthony, 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 I bet you didn't see this coming, did you? Now, I don't know what he did. Neither do I, nor do I care. All I care about is a win for Alvino, is a win for all of us. 
You know we don't get this kind of money. You know we don't get this kind of justice. So I just wanted to thank her for not stooping below to get what's due to her. And she got it. Anthony, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. You should have stuck the pan in the light bill and you wouldn't be here. But she built you and she got what's her. She kind of reminded me of Michael Jordan next wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a win. <laughs> Hit some wine glass and pour. Okay, real, real quick, after the break, okay? We got a break coming up. All right, we definitely got Nicole Murphy's boo. We got Remy Ma Papoose. We got Christian uh, and, and Blueface. We got Nicki Minaj and Vlad. Who else? Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. Jada Pinkett and, and, and Tupac. All this and more coming up after the break. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bowley Razor Glass 2 will be right back. Hold that thought, okay? Let's go. Hey, check this out. Kids go home tomorrow. House finna be quiet as a bitch, man. So f it. Boosty badass is back, man. All go pool party. All go piss pool party. And I f mean it, man. This third. We finna turn up, man. F*** all that, man. I gotta enjoy my mother life, man. <laughs> all gold piss pool party. I'm about to be all up in the gold piss party. Y'all better hurry up and get y'all tickets. Send pictures of your piss. And it better be dark. It better be gold, man. Piss pool party at Boosie Estates. Invites only, man. Invites only. Hit my DM, man. All gold piss pool party. Fuck it. I ain't drinking water all week, man. <laughs> only leaning crown rock. I'm looking for the baddest with the darkest, goldest pick. And you know I ain't got but one kid. <laughs> I better hurry up and get y'all tickets before Thursday. I already did boosting my piss. It's dark as hell. I'm coming for you hoes. I'm coming for the $500. All gold piss pool party. Boosted bad ass. Chlorine or urine? <laughs> we gonna have a vote. All gold in your fight. I got my waist trainer on. I'm doing my kegels. When it's time for me to piss on you hoes, I'm pissing on all you hoes. Plus a lot more wine spill live with me on Wine with Tasha K on stage in Miami on October 20th, 2023 at 8 p.m. But I better see the winos at the Flamingo Bar Theater. Grab your tickets, doors open at 6.30 p.m. And seats are first come, first served within your ticket tier. And if you think I cut up on this here internet, you ain't ready for the shit that's about to go down live on stage. Scan the QR code or get your tickets using the link below. The winos are toasting up in Miami. Purchase now. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. Comedy, everything's alleged. Gotta put my disclaimer in there because I ain't got no damn money to pay nobody else. Okay, uh, not even myself. Uh, real quick, before we 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 move on to this this DJ Cracker Vlad wine. Okay, uh, yeah, I need them ticket emojis in the chat. Who got their tickets to Wino Weekend October 20th? Put the tickets in the chat. And if you ain't got your tickets, you need to go on and click the links that the moderators got. Or you need to hit the link in the description box to buy up them 80 tickets left. Let's go. We packing it up, okay? We packing up Miami. We on the water in Brickle. We in a Latina spot, okay? Because it was a lot cheaper and a lot more affordable and stuff like that. So they ain't got no chicken wings, no ribs, or nothing like that. They do got excellent tequila and ceviche, all right? <laughs> 
Um, and just in case you're wondering what I'm drinking, I am drinking the Apothic White. I'm drinking light because I'm trying to lose a little weight before the show. Like I said, I got a goal of coming with one back row, not two. All right, so this is the Apothic White. It's a winemaker's blend. Very vibrant, very refreshing, okay? Very fruity. Kind of tastes like pear in a glass, okay? I really love the Apothic brand. If you were day one, you know that I started drinking this in my bedroom with Teddy, and they had no sheets on the bed or nothing like that, you know, because I only I don't like people sitting on my bed with sheets and stuff, especially, and I got to wash the sheets all the time because I don't know where your ass has been, you know what I'm saying? So I typically used to leave the sheets off the bed because I ain't had time to be washing like that, okay? Now, uh, but back to the wine. Uh, yes, so this is the Apothic White. You can get the Apothic Red, the Apothic Dark. They're not paying me to say this. This is genuinely a really, really great selection of wine. And you can get it for $10, okay? All you got to do is Google it. You can get it from your local Walmart, okay, for $9. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right? I love it. Bottoms up. Now, mm -hmm. bring it back to the stage. Vladimir! know why this man won't mind his business you would think that after all the alleged death that takes place after interviews on his platform that he would just learn to just mind his business when he needs to because I just I, I feel it in my bones when it, it bothers me deeply when I see a man like this that has profited heavy off of the living and the dead in the black community and hasn't given back to one funeral that was allegedly caused on his platform. Okay. Due to his police asked questions, why are you entering a conversation in women's business? Why are you coming for a woman? Where's your wife? I should have had a picture up here with that blue eyeshadow shadow on. Blonde wig with no ad, uh, 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 damn edges. Running your HR department while you allegedly talk down on your black employees. I got the lawsuit. Don't, don't you play with me. Thank you, Jasmine. This is his wife. Why you ain't talking about her and all the stuff she's been blamed for doing while working for you as your HR manager? Why you ain't saying nothing about her? Why do you have your sticky ass forehead on this woman? Put Nicki Minaj back up here. Now, I ain't saying this lady perfect. But I can't stay. Let me hold on for a second. Let me let me. God damn it. <sighs> Nicki Minaj's husband is on house arrest for threatening somebody. Right after that, she previews a song on IG saying she got killers who will pull up and do what she say. This was the same Nikki who threatened to send her husband to Academic's house for his comments about her. Somebody need to come throw out that funky ass chair, his thick uh, hips and thick booty sitting in, sweating and talking uh, 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 about people in all day. I know that chair funky and deflated. Academics. Now, this is the same Nikki who told Meek Mill to have his crew beat up Quentin Miller, which then happened. Have you ever heard a woman scream, my man will F you up over something she started herself? Sounds like to me these are woman beater tendencies. Like he, you know, like he 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 wanted Nikki to to fight the men, not her husband. So 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 you know, crimes like him can run down to the courthouse and file a lawsuit like he did when Rick Ross sent them niggas for his ass. You remember that? You remember that? Yeah. Uh huh. Let's keep reading. That's Nikki. If you want to see how these stories end, now here he go, using the black community to profit off of the black community so he can buy more Mary Kay for his wife. Put her back up here real quick. Yes. Now go back to Nicki Minaj. Now, that's Nikki. If you want to see how these stories end, check out my interview with Travis Rudolph. After 
after an argument with his girlfriend, she sent her brother and three guys to shoot up his house. One of them ended up dead. Another one got shot. Travis was charged with murder, which he luckily beat in trial due to self-defense. To all the men out there, I don't care how fat her ass is or how good the sex is. Avoid women like Nikki who use men as crash dummies like the plaque. I said what I said. Now, here's the thing. You, how many deaths have resulted on his platform or jailings from interviews that he's done? We can probably count back years. And you're mad that a woman that's black is doing the same thing that you're doing? At least she doesn't get paid for it. Crackle. And then justifies it by going to buy cheap makeup for a cheap looking ass wife. There she go. Thank you. And all the money you've made off the black community, you would think that you would get the black community to do this bitch's hair. You asking what the wife doing? Simply laying down with this ass. Hate the enemy. Now, Vladimir, I hate bringing you up here on my platform. Because I feel in my blood that you are really trying to find a way to snitch. You and others like you love running to the court. When all we do is hit back. We don't start with y'all. We don't be standing with y'all. We be minding our business that pays us. But you, brother, when you... And I'm calling you brother for a reason because that's what you really think y'all. You, you really, that's what you really think you are. Because I ain't seen you get out here yet. They call that in your, uh, in your community. Not one. Because it ain't that profitable. All I want you to do is one. Stay in your house like you've been staying, okay? Not showing up on interviews and doing virtual interviews and stuff and traveling to New York with heavy security because you know that's it's looking for you, okay? And two, stay out of women's business. What does this got to do with you? If she got a man with thick hips and thick thighs that rub together, that's chafing, between his legs and under his ball sack that she want to allow her husband to take care of, that's her business. And you, sir, I'm still waiting. I am still waiting on you to start a nonprofit organization just to set money aside, okay? From the interviews that you get, from all of these little black boys that you profit off of, so you can send their mammy some money to bury them after they leave your platform. Give them runaway slave. Don't play with me. Moving on. Oh, Jesus. He got me hot. Now, y'all tried to drag me when I said this helper ain't had no business having nobody's baby, okay, at all. At all. Where's Planned Parenthood when you need them? Now, where's defects? Because I know a lot of y'all called them, especially after the last couple videos. Y'all tried to say, oh, oh, she's a new mother. Oh, she's a, yeah, she, she ain't got it yet. That lady that had this baby all around the world. Everybody and their mama done had this, then held this damn baby. The baby done made his own rap song. Like, you, you can't make this up. And then, and it's, you know what's sad is that y'all are like, you know, y'all are, are like, y'all thinking this is cute. And I blame y'all. Because you tried to come for me saying I was being insensitive by laughing when she wasn't holding this baby and not a baby. Doing the shoulder lean, the back lean, and a full back bend, and ain't even been to damn gymnastics classes. But the dog is secured. Help the baby. Help the baby. Y'all don't wanna help the baby. Y'all wanna say she's learning. Well, what's she gonna learn when the baby back broke? When the baby neck broke? 
When is she going to learn? It don't take a rocket scientist to see, to know how to hold a baby. She still got another arm. For, what is the other arm doing? What is the other arm doing? This ain't nobody, this ain't blue folk. I told you that Jaden would have been a better mother to that baby and blue knew the entire time he ain't want no babies with her because she ain't even. First of all, I knew she ain't had no business having no damn babies when I saw that laundry piled up in that house, when I saw how nasty that house was. I don't care what he doing all day. We talk about chew. Because if you land up in the house with nigga and there's laundry, dirty panties, dishes piled up, that don't say nothing about him. That says everything about you because you laying up with him. Wearing the same draw. And now you want to bring a baby into this. No, 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 no. Y'all going to eat this social media. Y'all going to eat this. Yeah, y'all going to eat this. This is this, this, this y'all doing. Yeah, the more you follow her, the more your egg on, the more you root for her. Every time she says she's leaving blue, and then she go right back. Right back. You just, oh, she's learning, learning what? This is a 25-year-old woman. I had my first baby at 23 and a half years old. And my baby neck was secure. I had my baby tied to my back like the Africans do. Now, I'm going to have to side with Carlissa on this one here. Go ahead, little. My baby in the goddamn grocery store with the goddamn shit folded over and he doing a back bim like he in the goddamn gymnastics already. I don't like none of them. <laughs> Kylie's first baby daddy, a husband, none of them raggedy. Right. They couldn't even lift up more weights than me. I don't know why my kids out here running around with these goddamn weird old no. Well, then it's, I'm I'm the problem. Yeah. I'm not the problem. Yeah. If I dated somebody that I, that that was uh not a red, I could afford to do it. You know mm. why? Cause I could get out here and make that motherfucker something. Mm. No, y'all over here just letting them walk around in Walmart. Who the fuck is walking around Walmart? Mm. You send somebody to Walmart. You don't walk around Walmart. Other people who write on themselves is at the Walmart. Uh, sometimes when you got to go, you got to go. <laughs> I get what she's saying, though. <laughs> Target versus Walmart. It's the difference, okay? <laughs> I get what she's saying, but Carlisa, we wouldn't be here if you hadn't been teaching your kids on how to be upstanding citizens instead of teaching them how to eat pussy. And that's why this little girl won't go home and she won't stay because you taught your babies instead of how to be good daddies and boyfriends and husbands, you taught them how to eat cat, not ass, because you didn't want to be an ass. Mm -hmm. Taught them how to go to jail. Taught them how to pay the light bill. Remember when she was like, all oh, right, I didn't have the lights on, so they had to go turn the lights on. I was in jail. We did a whole interview with her. And remember, you said that Krishan is a figure of you. You see yourself in Krishan. So she's literally raising your grandbabies the same way you raised your motherfucking children. Now, you should be your ass up over there going to Walmart, doing laundry, making sure the baby got clean sheets to lay on. We saw how she keeps the house. And Blue, honestly, Blueface was the only one with any damn sense. Now, I do salute him for coming out saying that he ain't going to be mean to her no more because the mental health of her is a reflection of how the care that his baby gets. Now, that's very man of him to say that. Because what we're saying, he sees that he's going to be fighting defects for custody of his baby if they ain't already about to show up. They already came to the house with Jaden kids when he had them strippers over there. Now they finna show up at her house. Now, Krishan, what we not gonna do, we not gonna do what your mammy did with you. We not gonna blame everybody else for your crack habit. That's not what we gonna do. Play this video. Hey. Instead of that lady recording me, she could have just helped me. 
I got a dog, two carts are full of shit I need for my house. Um, I'm calling my baby daddy. Is he helping? No. So I don't know why he's chiming in either. Uh, this mommy shit is cool, but man, your mind is racing 36, 8 hours a day. And then transitioning to being everything in my situation. I don't know. Like, everything is just overwhelming. Uh, I'm still learning. Um, I love my baby. He's a good baby. I'm going to tighten up straight up. What are you talking about? Big Rock got this. You. Everybody make mistakes. Period. No, that's not a, that's, that, 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 that's not a mistake. Because this ain't the first time you had the baby in the back being in the, in the neck. Like, I don't think you realize how serious this is when the baby has no back support. But for you to get your ass up on social media at 25 years old and try to act as if somebody could have approached you or your baby... The way that you act in public? How do you think that would have gone? You think she would have been receptive? Hey, girl, let me help you with your baby. She would have probably started screaming, trying to whoop the bitch ass. And what? Why, why is your dog more important than your damn child? You ain't had no business taking that dog to Walmart. That dog could have waited at the house in the bathroom and pissed all over the bathroom until you got back. You had your other harm free. I ain't seen no carts around you. You are detached from that baby. Look at the video. She's detached. She's not even looking at the baby. Look. Check out. Tell what you're going to tighten up. When? When the baby in a fucking brace? I need to really probably delete them from my algorithm too like I did the other two. Because this is pissing me off. Any more other videos? Not, not, yeah, and this. I had that six months. Don't you gotta go like six weeks, six months without sex or something like that? So I'm gonna have that freedom. But, y'all, yeah, I fucked the same nigga, so. It's giving, I'm gonna be pregnant again. I got problems, all right? She gonna be pregnant again. I think she's trying to keep up with Jada. I, that's what it's giving. I really think she's trying to keep up with Jada, and she really thinks these babies are going to make Blue love her. She's going to fuck around, and he's going to take the kids. That's what's going to happen. And you think it's cute? I'm like, oh, I'm going to fuck around and be pregnant again. See, this is when I think the government should step in and start approving people to get pregnant. Instead of trying to lock people up for trying not to be pregnant. I think they got it backwards here. This is what happens when you try to pass laws to control us, and then the kids are suffering. Roll this video one more time. The baby in Walmart. Ain't nobody suffering but the children. This is not a mother that is attached to her baby. This is not nurturing. This Moving on. And I don't even put kids on the screen. Dwayne, 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 I know y'all ain't working. Hollywood's on a strike. Your wife is probably stressed out. Money is getting low. She's doing mayonnaise commercials. Um, you know what I'm saying? You know when they start doing mayonnaise commercials, fruit roll-up commercials and stuff, uh, money's a little tight, you know? Uh, the strike is really eating at everybody's pockets. And I know Shannon Sharp pays a little penny to sit down with these celebrities to get you know, what we really want to hear. So I appreciate Shannon Shaw for asking these questions that we always wanted to know, okay? Go ahead, Shannon. In the relationship or there's something that transpired, was it harder for you to sit down and have a conversation and to tell her that something had oh, happened outside of the relationship or losing the finals? Way harder to have a conversation with my now wife. Right. Um, who wasn't at the time, but my now wife about it. Like, you try to think of everything possible. Because you think about what you're going to say, and you're also thinking about how she's going to react. Pause, 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 pause. I think he tone deaf. You know, I thought I was loud, but this man is loud. Play that one more time. Roll it back, Jasmine, because when he started talking... Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Something that transpired. Was it harder for you to sit down and have a conversation and to tell her that something had happened outside of the relationship or losing the finals? 
way harder to have a conversation with my now wife. Right. Um, who wasn't at the time, but my now wife about it. Like, you try to think of everything possible. Because you think about what you're going to say, and you're also thinking about how she's going to react. Why he's so loud? Yeah, I mean, you're thinking about it all. It's right. all scary. One, the whole situation is, is scary enough. Right. Um, you're a public figure. That's scary. Right. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. But you... You've heard, you know that this is going to hurt someone. You know it's going to hurt. You know it's going to hurt. That you've been well, building a, a relationship citizen. with and a life with. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah. And no matter what people say on the outside or what people want to think, this and that, like ultimately, like you got to sit with you and you got to sit with this person and this is who you're going to be with. Right. And I had to, I had to sit with my wife about this. Well, my now wife about this um, and had this conversation. You told her before it came, became public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Because I, I, I don't know, D-Wade, if she'd have stuck with you, that thing to come public and you ain't have the conversation with her. Man, listen, let me tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't have gotten through that moment without her sticking with me. Shannon Sharp said he was going to get his money's worth. That man was answering questions for Dwayne. <laughs> but was it harder? But you had to tell her, right? Yeah. Because if she would have filed out of the public, boy, you would have been out the house. Sean said, hurry up, spit it up. <laughs> Let's get to the good shit. Why is we still talking about this? Obviously, she took you back, okay? You went and bought her a baby. You gave her what she ultimately wanted you to not do with a side bitch. Have we seen that baby? Anybody seen that baby? Nobody's ever seen that side baby? Gabby, I thought you were better than that. I thought you were better than that. I ain't seen that. Put the comments up. I don't never see it. Has anybody seen the baby like they've seen? Uh, we looking for Elon Musk, baby. Has anybody seen the baby? The baby, what, 10 now? Has anybody seen that little baby? We need to know. No? No? Why? I thought she was for the children. I mean, she got more respect for the LGBTQ than she does her own stepkid. What the hell? <laughs> Gabby! <laughs> you know, probably you wouldn't have to work so hard if you were to just allow that bastard baby into your space and accept it for what it is. Like, you shouldn't do that to children. That's probably why you stressing out and taking care of half. I would I'd be damned if I take care of half of the bills and you done had a half a baby on me. <laughs> I pay half of the bills. Not when you got a whole half a baby. I ain't paying shit. And then the baby can come over. Like, I just... And he can stay on the half of the house, the other half of the house. Like, come on, Dwayne, I don't even understand why we're still talking about this. Unless you plan on debuting that baby, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. Because Gabby, Gabby got to put her pride aside. Y'all are one big happy family. She already raising kids from the other marriage. She could take this, you know what I'm saying? I know it's hard looking at that because of everything that her uterus has gone through. And she's like, why me? Why me? And God is testing you, Gabby, to see where your heart really is. And it ain't with that innocent child, and that ain't fair. And I, I, I don't agree with that. I was a bastard baby. Okay? Mm -hmm. And bastard babies need love, too. We can't help we were made out of love. Moving on. <sighs> Speaking of made out of love... Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, like, your husband done damn near lost his career, you know, taking up for you. He done did interviews saying he was insecure. You made him feel insecure. He couldn't please you sexually. I mean, you have ema emasculated this man every which way, and he's one of the richest men in Hollywood and still don't have enough dick alive to please you. Y'all remember this video? Not that one. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> 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 
It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Nice. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. Look at the It was a G.I. Jane joke. She's like, Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to. Look at the Peter! Look okay. at the Peter! I should. <laughs> oh, I could, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That was the okay. greatest night in the history of television. Okay. He's professional. I like that. I just professional. Now, what I don't understand is your man been out here defending you. He been out here trying to, to be the, the present in the moment dick that you always wanted and still after him slapping news. You know? After him building you a house, not making you work, letting you fuck anybody you want to fuck. Why is you posting videos of your ex dad nigga? Go! Is Will White, he giving me white boy vibes. Like, why is Tupac still alive? Like, what? I think Will should have slapped the fuck out of her and sent her to him because that's what she wanted to be. This man gets more respect, more love being dead than you've ever gotten from your wife. Where's the red pill uh, community at when you need them? And I really thought this was Jaden. That's probably why Tupac ain't never touched her. Because. <laughs> Play the video one more time. I know why Tupac ain't. I thought really this was their son, Jaden. I did. He was. <laughs> And he danced like Will. Will Smith danced like that, too, you know? Um, so I can see why Jada probably saw some similarities in Will, you know, but the only problem she has is that Will is still alive. Moving on, and we really hope that Jada Pinkett does, too, too, okay? Because if she keep playing, somebody coming to get Will. Somebody coming to get that. He ain't going to be emasculated and disrespected for too much longer for a man that can't pay not one light bill. <laughs> there ain't no light where he at. No light. All right, after the break, okay? Not only are we going to be heading to TashaKLive.com for some exclusive audios on Nicole Murphy's boo. Okay, we got all the deets and it's, it's messy, okay? It's a 30-minute audio. <laughs> 30 minutes of all her business, okay? She has moved on from married men, you know, you know, to married men that got married men, wives, girlfriends, side chicks, defects, support, deportation, uh, RICO charges, all types of shit, scamming charges, beating women, allegedly, all types of shit, okay? Uh, uh, as recent as this November coming up. So listen, all this on Nicole Murphy, uh, boyfriend. And then we got Papoose and Rem Remy coming up. I, I'm going to tell you about that. This, this gets a little tricky, okay? So just, I handled $10,000 to get them, but I got you what you needed. Because he was trying to sell it, okay? All that and more after this break, okay? We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to hold that thought. We'll be right back, okay? Let's go. Hey, check this out. Kids go home tomorrow. House finna be quiet as a bitch, man. So f it. Boosted badass is back, man. All go pool party. All go piss pool party. And I f mean it, man. This third. We finna turn up, man. F all that, man. I got 
everybody enjoy my mother life, man. <laughs> oh, go piss pool party. I'm about to be all up in the go piss party. Y'all better hurry up and get y'all tickets. Send pictures of your piss, and it better be dark. It better be gold, man. Piss pool party at Boosie Estate. Invites only, man. Invites only. Hit my DM, man. All gone piss pool party. Fuck it. I ain't drinking water all week, man. Only lean and crown roll. I'm looking for the baddest with the darkest golden pit. And you know I ain't got but one kid. I better hurry up and get y'all tickets before Thursday. I already did boosting my piss. It's dark as hell. I'm coming for you hoes. I'm coming for the five hundred dollars. All gone piss pool party. Boosty bad ass. Chlorine or urine? We gonna have a vote. All go in your face. I got my waist trainer on. I'm doing my kegels. When it's time for me to piss on you hoes, I'm pissing on all you hoes. Plus a lot more wine spill live with me and wine with Tasha K on stage in Miami on October 20th, 2023 at 8 p.m. But I better see the winos at the Flamingo Bar Theater. Grab your tickets, doors open at 6.30 p.m. And seats are first come, first serve within your ticket tier. And if you think I cut up on this here internet, you ain't ready for the shit that's about to go down live on stage. Scan the QR code or get your tickets using the link below. The winos are toasting up in Miami. Purchase now. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. Back, okay. Please put the ticket emojis in the chat if you already got your tickets to Wino Weekend to our wine gossip comedy show taking place in about 30 days here in Miami. We are shutting down Miami Brickle on the water. It's a nice venue. It happens to be Latina owned, so it was affordable, okay. But it's really nice though, okay. They got good ceviche, you know, good tacos and stuff, and good margaritas and sangrias, all right. And you got me. Wine, gossip, and comedy, okay? And Taddy's gonna be there the entire team. Put the tickets in the chat. And real quick, before we start this next second of the show, and then we're gonna go on over to TashaKLive.com, because you know we're about to get in this Remy Ma wine and Nicole Murphy real quick. I know y'all want to do I just want y'all to thank y'all selves for a second. I really, I don't think y'all understand how hard we've all had to work to get our numbers back up. We had a lot of people trying to shut us down. But God said, <laughs> but God did. <laughs> I want y'all to show y'all self some love to show them how deep and how heavy Wino Nation is and how we able to sell our shows. I couldn't do it by myself at all. I just do what y'all want me to do, which is come up here and, you know, and I'm, been a I'm able to help y'all to have a good motherfucking time and stay out of trouble, you know? I get in enough trouble for all of us. But I just wanted y'all to give y'all selves a round of applause because we did that. We really did that. These last two years, you know, I know y'all been in comment sections. Y'all been fighting. Y'all been cussing folks out. Y'all been getting people deleted and stuff like that. And I'm like, we ain't got to do all that, okay? All we got to do is keep working. It's the work. It's the work. It's the discipline. It's to be able to get up and go to work despite whatever's coming your way, okay? Don't let nobody... Don't let nobody ever fucking stop you or stop you from doing what you love to do, okay? As long as you love it and you know it's coming from a good place, fuck. So I just had to put some respect on the winos 
name out here, okay? Because we almost like, what, 14,000 right now? We'll be back up to 20 and 30K in no time. Because you remember them days, right? I do. They coming. Days are coming. <laughs> days are coming. And they're going to be in stadiums, too. Mark my word. <laughs> A dark country ass woman from the south, and we selling child. Anyway, all right, now let's go ahead and get started with this. Why y'all really here? Okay, so you know we've been working on this Remy My Papoose wine. Now I don't know, and I have to say this wine gossip comedy, everything is alleged. Okay, I was not there. Uh, don't try to laugh. I know this picture is, but this is this is this is easy on the blockchain, and this is uh Papoose. Okay, matter of fact, do the side by side. Do. Do Papoose versus Easy. <laughs> Just sit on that for a second. By the way, I'm drinking the Apothic White, okay? It's a winemaker's blend. Tastes like pear in a glass, okay? I love pears. Had a pear tree coming up on my grandmother's farm, and this wine right here smells like pear, gives pear, okay? And it, and it has pear prices, okay? $9. You can Google it. It's the Apothic White, okay? And they have the red, dark, all types of them, okay? All of them good. You can't go wrong. And I'm not being paid to say this, okay? Now, um, yeah, so this is uh, Papoose, and this is Easy on the blockchain, okay? Both of them are battle rappers. Both of them are, looks like, they seem to be very much in love with Remy. Um, and I, I want us to marinate on something for a second real quick, okay, before we get into the deets here. Papoose hasn't said anything. And by him being quiet says a lot. Papoose has always made people, including me, put respect on his relationship's name. So for all of this to be going on and Papoose is quiet says a lot. That people would be out here on social media dragging his wife the way that they are. And then you got his clones, his doppelgangers, throwing shots at him. Okay? And I explained that to Remy's team this morning at, at 4 o'clock in the morning. I said, you know, I know Pat Poos hasn't said anything, and Remy hasn't said no. Let's, let's be clear about that. She has not said no. She said, stop with the lies between Papoose and Easy. But she never has denied this relationship with Easy. And by the way, can I say that I hate niggas right here that grow beards to try to create symmetry in their face and stuff like that? Because I know if he shaves that off, it's giving Mario Brothers. I'm just saying. I just. That's why Papoose always got on that hat. Do the before and after real quick. He fools people with hats and he fools people with beards. And don't get me started on the teeth from Easy on the Blockchain. Viewer discretion is advised. This is what his teeth look like, and I hope to God that Remy is not allowing this man to give her any sort of head because that, my friend, is vaginitis waiting to happen. Difference between him and Papoose She's a wife to Papoose, so she makes dinner appointments. He ain't quite made it yet. And before she was able to make a dinner appointment, he got his people in my DM. You supposed to wait until after the dinner plan kicks in? Sir! Give me that close-up one more time. Yeah, you're going to get this. You're going to eat this. <laughs> You finna eat this today, easy block J. You finna eat this because you shouldn't have you shouldn't have had your ass in my DM. Shouldn't have had your people in my DM. And then what I don't like is when people lie about it. You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you how it happened. I got up this morning at 3 o'clock in the morning to pee. Had just went to bed at 12. Got up to pee. As I'm getting up to pee, my phone is going off. And I'm like, why is my phone going off? Because normally I turn my phone on quiet mode. But for some reason, it was not on quiet mode. And so as I look at the phone... There's a young lady in my DM. Do you have the screenshots from Nicole, the PR? Uh, um, okay, but you don't have Nicole's? Okay, so hold on for a second. Let me read Nicole's, and I'll post it to the uh, 
to the page. Don't you worry about that, okay? Because Nicole has since put out a statement to say that she was in my DM and that, um, you know, she did represent Easy, okay? Uh, Remy's artist, because this is her artist. This is someone that she manages. He's on the uh, uh, the battle rapping show. Uh, he was the one, you know, uh, getting uh, battle rapped against. I guess that's what they call it. You know, when uh, she was being called all types of bees and everything uh, for allegedly sleeping with him because he's out here talking. And you can tell he likes to talk. Look at his mouth. Close your mouth and your teeth and your gums would heal. Now, Nicole is in my DM. Her name is Nicole PR, okay? Matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull it up, okay? It's just one screenshot. It's just, you know, we're going to read her statement. That's the most important thing, okay? Um, but she basically said, and let me pull this up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. So many DMs. I mean, they have been off the chain. Oh, Jesus. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Why my phone want to load now? Why does it want to load right now? That's crazy. Okay. So Nicole, his PR, jumps in my DM, basically says that if I want an exclusive to hit her, I said drop her number. So she drops her number, okay? We got all this in recording, too. We're going to play all the recordings on TashaKLive.com, all right? So that'll be coming up after the show. If you want to hear the recordings along with the Nicole Murphy uh, uh, interview uh, that we have uh, concerning the man that she's with, all of that and more is coming up on TashaKLive.com. Okay, and so this young lady says, you know, she's representing uh, Easy, and basically Vlad uh, had reached out basically offering them 10000 for him to do a tell-all. So I said, okay, uh, cool. I was like, uh, so what, you trying to see how much I'm offering? She says, yes. And I asked her, will there be a confirmation? She said, yes. I said, okay, so, but he wants to drop it on his platform first. I said, oh, okay, I said, that devalues the product. So what, why are you calling me? Well, we're just, we're shopping, and we just want to know because we have had several offers, okay? So I ended up calling, uh, calling Easy on the blockchain, and he didn't answer the phone. So what I thought, I was like, you know, 10000 they know I ain't got that money. They don't read the headlines. What are they doing? So I said, but this is my story. I'll be damned if that cracker come take my story. And I'm talking about Vladimir. Like, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? What, what are you doing down here in the celebrity gossip arena? What are you doing down here? Are you struggling for views that bad, cracker? Huh? No, no, no. You're, you're ah, So you're going to get... We're going to do this first. Now, here's what I'm going to say. I don't know for sure what's going on in their bedroom. And Lord knows I hope not much because of the nature and the status of his gums. Okay? I pray that Remy doesn't have to use Vagisil after laying down with this little boy. Okay? And that's how you can tell he's young. That's how you can tell he's single. He ain't got nobody that love him or care about him because they would have easily told him, dude, your gums is black and bleeding. And your teeth are loose. I can tell they loose from the picture. Okay? Now, um, so what I decided to do, you know, I'm a chess player, not checkers. I said, let me hit uh, Easy to see if he knows this, this lady. So he didn't answer the phone. So I said, well, let me hit Remy. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Let me see what they say. Remy immediately saw the message. Do you see that? What does it say? 5 a.m.? What does it say? 5.30? 5 a.m.? What does that say? What's it? What's it? Yeah, so you can see the messages. I was like, hey, 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 what does it say? Read it, Jack. Hold on for a second. Off the record, I have something you really need to see, okay? I, I can't read this shit right now. But I can't see, goddammit. But you, you see it. Shit. And Jasmine, put your mic on. Damn it. So, read that. So that's what I said. Remy instantly saw it, had her PR hit me, okay? Ernest, put up Ernest's messages. Okay, where they at? Ernest won. So Ernest represents Remy, okay? Now, I didn't record him because he's PR and I need relationships. <laughs> I don't need relationships with them other niggas, okay? <laughs> they clout chasers and they beggars. These are real people. They be at the Rock Nation brunch, and I'm hoping to be there one day. Pray for me, okay? I'm just going for the food. <clears throat> I heard they got good food and good drinks. 
I said, hey, it's Tasha. Uh, he said, hey, Tasha, I received your DMs. He didn't. Remy did. Okay. Uh, on Remy's page, and uh, I sent you an email as well. He sent me an email immediately and got back. Okay. Especially after the story that I put out that she was trying to strike down. Okay. She was trying to get it down. I, literally, my channel was getting struck all day for y'all, and I ended up winning. I'm studying law. Okay, I said, okay, I'm replying now. I said, or on a call, it's off the record, okay? He didn't trust me. He didn't immediately get on a call immediately. I don't blame him. You shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? But I, I understand what strategic alliances are, and this is one of them. So shout out to Ernest, okay? So as we go on, read message uh, uh, three from Ernest, okay? Message three, Jasmine, okay? And I said, hey, did you know that uh, uh, he posted this? So these are messages from Easy on the blockchain's page. And he, what did it say? What does it say, Jasmine? Read it to me real quick so I repeat it. All of them. Jasmine, how the hell are you going to put up messages that you can't read? I cannot see it on the TV because I wear glasses. Jesus. Hold on. Never mind. I got it. You want something done, you got to do this shit yourself, okay? Now, <clears throat> I said, do you know that he's planning on doing a tell-all OK, and he's shopping an interview uh, about him and Remy. OK, a PR reached out to me. Now, I hadn't talked to Easy at the time, but I called Easy and he sent me the voicemail. So and then he posted this. Don't worry, I got y'all. And then I'm the most hated go on the Internet right now. And this is the message below from the PR, basically shopping, asking me if I was interested in buying the interview. Now, first of all, just put your thing caps on. Why would I why would they want to come to me? knowing the commentary that I have been covering surrounding this story. Because I've got the most views. I've got the biggest platform. And they think that because I have all this, I got some money. You better ask the courts. It don't work like that, okay? Everything coming in is spoken for. So what happened next? Where's message? Yeah. As you can see, hold on for a second. Y'all going to still hear me on the mic. Y'all going to still hear me, okay? It says, but sent me this. I have no intention on paying a side nigga to expose his boss. As a married woman to another, I just thought that she should know this before it comes out. Supposedly later today or tomorrow, Easy the Blockchain is going to be doing this interview. He says, I appreciate that. I'm going to let her know. I said, he is currently filming it for his channel and wants, to buy, and wants us to buy it. I said, no problem. However, I'll be sure to uh, uh, fuck up his plans tonight, is what I said. And this is tonight. <laughs> we fucked up his plans all day. How do we do? Hit the wine glass, OK? I said, also, I just got confirmation on tape that he's moving forward, OK? And he wants to protect his name. All right, go to the next message. Then I said, uh, hold on, 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 yep. Uh, I said, he's, this is bitch nigga shit. The statement and confirmation is coming out today on his YouTube channel first. And I guess that cracker Vlad TV gonna pay 10 K cause I ain't. And then I gave the monkey face and he goes shaking my head. Good looking out. I said, just tell her to fix this shit. No worries. And so Ernest says you a real one. Cause most people wouldn't have said nothing. 100. I said, I know I'm the bad guy. However, after all she's done for him, this is lower than me. I'm a real bitch. You understand? You understand? So they said I was playing chess, and he did exactly what I knew he was going to do, because guess who called me two minutes later? Easy on the blockchain. Now I wonder who called Easy. Put their pictures back up. Who called you, nigga? And he was like, hello? I said, hello? I, that's all I'm recording. Y'all gonna hear it. Who's this? I said, who's this? I said, you know what? It's Tasha K. Tasha K. Yeah, nigga, Tasha K. Don't play with me. I said, you shopping an interview? I don't know nothing about no interview. I don't know nothing at all. I said, well, well you called really fast, so obviously you got a call from Remy. Yeah, I told her to fix this. I said, so you don't know nobody named Nicole? That's your PR? That's when he got to lie. Not only do we got the lie, we got the lies and the consistencies together. I keep them all. I got her lie, his lie, 
his truth, her truth, and somewhere in between that is the truth. And we got that too, okay? And you'll be able to hear that on TashaKLive.com. Now, what's interesting about all of this is that Papoose hasn't said a damn thing. And Papoose has never, ever let anybody throw dirt on Remy's name. When have you ever? You, you, do y'all remember when I got, if you were day one, ask yourself this. Do you remember back when I first started? I had like 30,000 followers, right? And I got a story from a crackhead somewhere in upstate New York who had pictures with her and Papoose while Remy was in jail and there was a baby. And she tried to say that Papoose was the baby's uh, father and the baby looked like her. So I just posted a picture. I was like, hey, according to this lady, you know, Papoose is the father. This was right after Remy had got out of jail and everybody was already not believing that he was faithful right but when you see papoose with his hat off go back to the before and after <sighs> yeah when you see papoose with his hat off he was he was faithful to Remy she wasn't allegedly because she was running the pod she was butch Remy okay thank Remy now I just like how she's sleeping with a younger version of Papoose. <sighs> this, this is, I know she keeping the monostat on deck. You seen them teeth? You seen them teeth? Show them again. That calls for Fluxinol, Monostat 7, Vagicil, Amoxicillin, all from the mouth. Yeah, okay. Now, Papoose hasn't said anything. Close that door for me real quick. Thank you. All right. And that says a lot. And I explained this to Ernest. I said, you know, you would think, you know, with the kids watching social media and stuff like this, Papoose would have already said something, but he hasn't said anything. And Remy hasn't denied this. And neither has Easy. Easy has all, all Easy has said is that nobody knocked him out. That's all that he said. Now, a lot of people are speculating is this for ratings? I mean, you would call this woman a bitch and, and, and tell Papoose to come get his bitch off of ratings of a show, and then you try your best to strike down every single platform that I have that has this clip because it looks bad. You look visibly worried in the clips. No. So they did exactly what I knew they would do, okay? Okay. They all got the scrambling. They all got the lying. So much so, okay, that after I spoke to Easy, you know, he claims he had cussed the girl out, the, the PR girl. The PR girl ends up calling me. I said, call me. She calls me back, and her story is real different. But she didn't know who she was talking to. I said, girl, you know, I used to do PR back in the day, and I listened. I listen. I listen with my mouth, my heart, my nose, and I record it and listen. And you ain't going to sit here and lie to me. I cussed that girl out so bad. It was 5 o'clock in the morning. I said, don't you, don't you lie like that, little girl. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. And you calling me a liar. And because folks be doing that, that's why I be recording their asses. All I got is my name. Papoose ain't out here saving nobody's name, but I'm going to save my own name today. Now, I don't know what y'all was thinking y'all was going to do, but I said that's really, really, really fucked up. That Remy is his manager and that y'all would even be entertaining the thought of doing a tell-all for your own benefit. She gave you a platform. Nobody would even know about you or be able to smell your breath. Put the picture back up again. If it wasn't for her... Wearing matching outfits with your ugly. And now you're around here trying to clean it up so much so that you got your PR issuing statements saying that on 9 23 now she wrote this before I even came out and said so. All I said is that I was on a three-hour call with Remy's team and his team, and they were shopping to tell our interview, okay? That's all I said, and we're going to debut it tonight. Right? I said, I'm fucking it up tonight. She goes, I issued a statement to some media outlets advising that Easy the Black Captain will be making a statement today and that the exclusive story is available. What exclusive story? What exclusive story? Because they ain't confirmed or denied. 
So what exclusives are we talking to? And, 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 and what you telling for $10,000? What is we talking about? She goes, this was done without Easy's consent. I got it all on tape. And I sent it all to Remy team. And they was like, ooh, you're good. I said, I know. I'm the best. She says, I understand that this is a serious error, and I take full responsibility for my actions. My words and intent are now being twisted. I said, we ain't even saying shit. Twisted. Bitch, I got you on audio. What are you talking about? I ain't twisting shit. This is your words, okay? Now, how people perceive them, that's a different story, but ain't nobody twist shit. Okay, you got real quiet when I started yelling and cussing, cussing your ass out. Because you're wasting my time, and it's 5 o'clock in the morning, I could be asleep. She said, now my words are being twisted at the sacrifice of a client that I cannot, and I cannot have that. Easy and I have worked together for a few years, and while it has been some time since our last project, I took it upon myself to begin discovery on the potential business opportunities from a PR standpoint. Let me be clear, no amount of money was requested for an interview with Easy. Jasmine, you heard the recordings, right? There was a number. Right, okay. I made it clear that he would be dropping a statement on his own platforms first and that I've received offers for an exclusive interview after the release of the statement. Easy did not and does not want to profit from an interview. So who want to profit? He need that money. He got to go see Dr. Mario to get his teeth done. Okay, he's trying to go get them Kang T. Uh, T.I. Sun. Easy did not and does not want to profit from the interview. He only wanted to release a statement telling his side of the story. I love our media and blog partners, and I understand they have a duty to report the latest information on trending topics, but any blog outlet reporting anything different is not the whole truth. That's why I let you tell it, okay? Also, I have apologized to him and his team, and I'm working with them to ensure that this does not happen again. My team and I also have taken steps to review our internal procedures to prevent this type of mistake from truly happening in the future. My intentions were pure, but have been taken out of the way that does not shed good light on Easy and any party involved. For that, I apologize. I value my relationship with Easy and all my clients, and I'm committed to providing them with the highest quality of service. I regret my inconvenience, embarrassment, confusion, and misunderstanding that this incident may have called sincerely Nicole Sabrina okay and we have Nicole Sabrina we got all of that so you're going to be hearing all the audio me cussing them out them lying them trying to get their stories together and all that and more at the expense of Remy after she's possibly already lost her family okay and now you want to really come for her head you see how opportunists they're just they're just opportunists they're opera fucking tunists like and it, it doesn't matter like what <laughs> What you do for anybody, especially in this Hollywood space, they lie. Just like he lying about how his face is shaped right now with that beard trying to create symmetry. And he lying about his gum and teeth health. Come on now, please. So I invite you over to TashaKLive.com to enjoy the recordings, okay? To, to, to make your determination on, on who should be trusted and who's lying, because the damn show ain't me. That's why, and they, they did exactly what I knew they was going to do, come to the internet to confirm that they was on the phone with me. I was playing chess the whole time. So now, Vlad, Vladimir, you ain't paying no motherfucking money to no nigga to mess up no household. We saved a marriage over here. And Remy, you need to take your ass back to the house. Now, also coming up on TashaKLive.com, Nicole Murphy. Y'all want to know who this is? I know. Got the whole background report. And it ain't good. It's worse than the married nigga she was screwing before. Remember him? Antoine Fuqua had a whole wife. Wasn't the wife her friend? I thought so. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, all of that, okay? This is what he looked like. Okay, so go back to the to the picture of him at the wedding. Hold on for a second. So this is the new man. Everybody's like, who is that? Who is this? Who is this? And you know people call me because I ain't afraid to put this shit out. Now, because of who he was, I did have to call the streets to ask the streets permission on how to proceed with this because he is in the streets. But the streets offered me some clear, clear information on how to proceed and said you were full and ready to go. Execute the Tasha K way. And so with that being said, take a look at Exhibit A. You see that? That's what he really looked like. Look, look, looking like skin, looking a little Charlemagne-ish. Yeah, and looking a little Charlemagne-ish. Now, when I tell you this, this mugshot says a lot. Because this ain't no, 
This ain't no state penitentiary. This is RICO. This is, he got five years in federal prison. Everybody, and he was the leader of the organization and everybody else is serving life. All public record, okay? We will reveal the name, the background, and the interview that we did, okay, concerning all, oh, it's messy, all of his background. And I said, Nicole, I just don't understand. How you move from Eddie Murphy to Antoine Fuqua to this? Mugshot, please. Jamie Foxx's ex best friend, too. All that more coming up right now on TashaGayLive.com. We will be going live at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please put the ticket emojis in the chat if you got your tickets to our October 20th show taking place in Miami. We got wine, glass of comedy at the Flamingo Bar Theater on the water in Miami for Wino Weekend in October. Please drop them ticket emojis. Thank y'all so much for streaming live everywhere. And again, I love y'all for supporting me, for sticking with me. I know y'all was confused out here on what we was doing and where we was going and all these lies they was telling on us and shit like that. But God said, come to the show October 20th, okay? Make sure you wear your costume, all right? Thank you so much to Teddy. Thank you to all y'all. Please, if you have tips on your favorite celebrities, please feel free to hit me in the DM on Why With Tasha K. Uh, on Instagram, as they always do, okay? Or send me an email to unwildwithtashk at gmail.com. Also, if you have, you want to tell a story, okay? On my platform, please feel free to hit me at stories at tashkalive.com. Or if you want to advertise over here on this platform, please feel free to send us an email via ads, ads at tashkalive.com, okay? Again, thank you so much. I love y'all. Happy Fuckery Friday. We're about to head over and do part two of Fuckery Friday. It's only $12. Subscribe via TashaKLive.com, the website. Then you can download the app, get in the chat, and have a good damn time, okay? Thank you to almost, how much? How, how many was it total? 14,000 people! Boy, we, I can't wait till we get to the motherfucking Barclay! Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me!